Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Spelunky. So I went to continue by accident. I just want to check and make sure, now that we've done this, that the shortcut to the... Where's the shortcut to the temple tunnel? Oh, it's over here. It's just kind of blending in with the wall. I was pissed off. Alright, so you won't get fastest times ranked on the leaderboards. That's alright. Can I sleep up here? Maybe? Maybe not. Dude's got a picture of a shovel on his wall. Love what you do and do what you love. Okay, we are gonna go start at the mines. I know I said we would start at the temple, uh, but I actually don't want to do this. I, I took your, your advice to heart. Now that we have opened up that temple shortcut, I can always go back there whenever I want and learn the enemy types. But for now, uh, what we are going to do is just basically try to, I guess, beat the game. Like, uh, it, it feels good to be able to say that, but we're gonna start at the mines. We're gonna do it Isaac style. Starting from the very earliest level and then working our way towards uh, the end as we move along, as is, you know, the way that is standard for most people to go. I can already feel myself playing way less methodically than I played last time, so I'm going to try to reel that in a little bit. It's my natural instinct to play things a little bit fast and loose, but, I mean, I curtailed that. Oh, just get out of there. Oh, man. I curtailed that on the last episode a little bit. I'm just gonna exit here. I know it's kind of shitty that I took some damage. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to curtail that a little bit because last time I played way, 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 way more methodically and things turned out kind of unbelievably well. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, definitely go back and check that out because... You know what? I'm actually gonna restart this one. I know that sounds shitty. That's uh, it's the coward's way out. But I haven't been playing that good. That well, I should say. Let's take a second, hydrate a little bit. Throat got a little bit raw from all the sweet Spelunky action in the last video. That sounded maybe more vaguely sexual than I meant it to. And we're just gonna take our time here. We're gonna take things nice and slow. Which is the way that I hear you win the race. Okay, so we'll take the rock with us. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Helping me out of my Spelunky play right now. Wouldn't it be great if he was an unlockable character? Speaking of which, should actually uh, check out more of the unlockable characters. I know that there's one to get... Oh, come on. There's one to get on the uh, Castlevania level. So I, I look forward to maybe getting a chance to check that out. And I'm trying to get as much treasure as possible. Because obviously, the more we buy from the shopkeeper, the less likely it is that we have to actually fight him, which means less likely that I'm going to get shot by him on my way trying to exit a floor. So maybe angering shopkeepers, not the best course of action all of the time. How am I going to get to you, dog? Well, you know what? There's a crate in here, so I think this is worth it. Didn't hurt the dog either. So we used a bomb and a rope to pick up three bombs. I think that's good. A-OK -okay in my books. We'll, can we just throw the dog down here? He'll be fine. Monty, get down there! I think he killed the snake too. The reason being, I wanted to make sure I carried the rock with me down to the next level, if I could, and I can. So we'll put Monty through the exit, we'll grab the rock and go through. See? I've turned over a new leaf in my Spelunky play. It feels good, man. Feels good. Levels aren't taking me 30 seconds anymore, they're taking me a minute and a half, and that is a, a damned positive thing. In my professional opinion. Well, I'm not a professional Spelunky player. Let's not go that far. I'm a professional talker who plays Spelunky more than occasionally. Okay, so we do want to take this dog with us. This dog. A little bit more personal than that. Uh, I'm just making sure that the way is clear first. Because, of course, I would like to take that rock with me as well in case we get arrow traps or something. But I guess I can just use my dog uh, on arrow traps as well. And if we find an altar, of course, I will be looking to, to sacrifice him. Sorry to say, but sometimes, you know, a compass or something might be more valuable to me than the life of man's best friend. Oh, dog. Oh, so lucky they didn't fall in the arrow trap there. So we'll pick up this stuff. Uh, I will probably, I'll definitely use a bomb to get to that crate as well. Uh, I'm just gonna put Monty up here. Don't make me regret this decision, Monty. Uh, fucked up that bomb. Badly. Here, you... Get back up here! <laughs> I'm not done with you yet. And I'm not done with this part yet, either. Okay. Got the dog. Got a pot, which we can use to trigger the arrow trap. Got a parachute, which is kind of a waste of time. 
Here we go. Dog down here, so he's kind of trapped. Pot to trigger the arrow trap. I guess I could have just used the rock. Now we can come back, get the dog. This is the definition of, at least in my opinion, methodical play, and it's working out fairly well for me so far. So there's our exits. How much is the pace gonna cost me? 4,000? 3,000? You know what? We're gonna buy a bomb box. We're gonna buy a bomb bag. I'm not gonna buy the paste. Reason being uh, that you should be able to get the paste. If we come across like a, a huge spider, they're usually very easy to kill. Just like get a bomb in the web and, and it's no problems. So, so far so good. I'm digging this more methodical Spelunky play, I've got to say. Okay, we got issues here, though. Uh, there's pretty much no way that I don't anger this god. Which way are we supposed to go? Okay, well, fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I think that's gonna anger the god. Yes, but if we stand here, we might just be okay. Okay. No problems, then, sort of. Except, of course, for the fact that uh, we might anger the shopkeeper with that rock or something. Seriously, Bat? Thank you, okay. So I can hear Monty as well. We can safely throw this idol. If we wanted to, as long as we don't hit ourselves with it. So let's take a look down here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be where the dog is. Oh, there he is. He's trapped in that area over there. We don't have a big spider yet, but that's okay. Oh, get the fuck out of there. Okay. I want to take both the idol, obviously, and the dog to the exit. That may not be possible. But if anything... Oh, there's the exit right there, right? Well, let's just plant a bomb right here. Ooh, okay, watch out for the Nedry snake. And I think... We might even be able to get back up without using a rope. This is a little risky, though. Oh, we got the shopkeeper with uh, some hired help as well. But the hired help is oftentimes terrible, so I don't want to risk that. Oh, come on. I want the idol that's like 10,000. I think it's 10,000 anyway. We could sacrifice it if I found an altar, but I haven't yet. So there we go. Oh, it's only 5,000. That's not worth that much. But, hey, we had it, so we might as well take it, right? And we got another... Set of health there. We have to like seven now? Seven. Pretty good. Might be the highest I've ever gotten. Yeah, dude. I was playing Spelunky once. Highest I've ever gotten, man. So we're just gonna walk through this slow. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I think we're alright. Not worry about, you know, making any incredible items or plays here. Just want to get myself to the exit. Is there a shopkeeper down here? What's up with this lantern? Okay. Still alright here. I can sort of see where we're going. The problem is that I can't see, like, the potential for spiders or anything like that. Unless I throw my torch, which is, is kind of risky. Although it's not as risky as it is on the jungle. Because obviously on the jungle, um... <sighs> Excellent. Ah, oh, there's the end! Uh, on the jungle... We have bigger problems, because we could potentially throw it in the water. It's just, I don't hear Monty, so we're just gonna go through to the exit. And there's the mines done. That was pretty good. The seven health, uh, like, no good items, which is shitty, but whatever. So far, so good. Keeping it up with it, keeping our ultimate goal... Oh, fuck. Of killing Olmec in mind. It feels weird to say killing Olmec, considering he was one of my childhood heroes. For his role on Legends of a Hidden Temple. Is anything down? Okay. Going. S <sighs> That's rushing. That was rushing. And we're still alive. <laughs> but do I deserve to be? Is that the question? Okay. No more Pearl Jam references. I promise. That was a quick level. I wanted to get the fuck out of there because I made it a huge mistake. Oh come on. This again? This seems like easy mode now, though, because I don't have to carry a fucking key the whole way. So we got a tiki trap down here. That's a problem. We can light... Oh, let's just jump to this one. Yeah, okay. And I think we're okay... Oh, shit! Please tell me we don't have a beehive here as well. 
Although I could get some delicious royal jelly, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, there's our beehive. I wish I could just use my torch to, like, set it all on fire. Still ticking. That's not good. That's the exit. That's the exit. Okay. I'm just going to quickly look for the Monty. Oh, that's bees. Okay, we're going to exit. That didn't go so well, but I kind of ran into... I mean, the first level of the jungle was just bad for me because I played poorly. But uh, the second level was, was difficult, you know? Beehive and... Uh, can't see shit. So I'm going to take that as a positive that we got out of that with our lives intact. Alright, sorry about that, that one. My luchador friend. And we can get the boomerang here. And I can actually hold on to it. Oh, man. Oh, no! Okay. That was a bad death. The thing is, I should have just been able to, like, land on Boomerang Man and then get his boomerang, and then things would have been okay. Sadly, the Spelunky gods had other things in store for me, but it's important to not let this rattle me, you know? Can't start to get restless just because of one mistake there. Spelunky's a game about, you know, minimizing your chances for mistakes, but mistakes do happen. Spider, please trigger the arrow trap. Well, you can't now. But I can waste a bomb, well, use a bomb, to get Monty, who is still alive, thankfully. Toss him off the edge. Sorry about this, buddy. It was kind of necessary, though. And think of the good you did. You killed the rat. What a, what a uh, bonus for us right there. Oh, 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 okay, dog, come back here. I want the treasure. I want the crates, I want the chests, I want all of it. So we'll pick up this gold bar here. Our guy's gotta be pretty strong, you know, gold bars. Especially when you're picking up like 40 of them on each run. Be, uh, they can get a little heavy. Might as well kill that spider, or, oh my god, every time. Might as well kill that snake. Just move things all along a little bit here. Yeah, we'll go back for the jewel. No reason not to. I shouldn't have thrown that in that direct- Oh, oh! it, it killed the dog. It killed the dog, but I, the dog died so that I could live. This is what he would have wanted, I think. But I should have just taken a pot and used that to trigger the arrow trap. That was poor foresight on my part, but that's alright. We're still alive. In fact, we're doing fine. Lots of gold on that first level. And, uh, you know, totally average amount of health. There's our key, which we can actually take and use to open the chest for once. I know, it's a novel idea. Oh man, there's a shop up there. And there's a shotgun. And there's a bomb bag. I don't think I want any of those really though. The web gun is bad. If that is the web gun and not the freeze ray. I get them mixed up all the time. Pretty much look exactly the same. Really, skeleton? You're gonna fuck with me like this? Well, let's take the skull. I thought maybe that would trigger the arrow trap, but I guess I don't really have to trigger the arrow trap. Where's our chest? Well, there's paste. Nothing special there. I hear Monty. Uh, we'll try to kill this spider. I think that's gonna do it. Excellent. So there's paste for us. Uh, we'll get the jewel later. Oh, there's the chest down there too. Okay. So, how are we gonna do this? Key down, Monty up, I kind of thought that was going to happen. We'll take Monty through to the exit here. Again, if you're wondering where I got the idea to call this dude Monty from, do yourselves a favor and go check out Michael A.L. Fox's Let's Play. You can find him in my other channels list or, oh, the Ooh, Jedi, okay. Uh, or, you know, youtube.com slash Michael A.L. Fox. Much better Spelunky player than myself, and also definitely a zanier style of commentary. And uh, a good friend of mine in real life. So we have anything, just more bombs in here, that's, that's fine. Uh, we have nothing we can throw at the arrow trap to trigger it, which is unfortunate. So I think we're just gonna sp oh, man, there's a lot of spiders here. Um, I'm just gonna sprint through this, basically. And it worked totally fine. Arrow trap got triggered. Arrow trap I could not even see got triggered. Come on, Batman. Uh, yeah. Perfect throw. Totally nailed that one. So we're just gonna hang out here for a second. I'm gonna 
gather my thoughts as we move forward. This arrow will only knock the spiders down, which is not what I want. As we saw in one of those videos that I actually did with Mike. Uh, you need the arrowhead on it if you want to be effective against those spiders. Okay, we're through. Bat is dead. Don't see Monty. Nope. So I think we're just going to go through to the exit here. I'm happy with my money. I'm happy with my health. Reasonably happy with my health anyway. That was only 1-3 too. Yes. <laughs> Probably like the most confusing way I could have phrased that. That was only 1-3 too. That was only the third level of the first world as well. Uh, oh fuck, that was my last bomb. Monty, no! Okay, well we do have a shopkeeper down here. It's possible I might be able to, to swing it so that I can pick him up. I'll have to use some ropes to make it happen. Or just get the springy shoes. Hmm, well we have tons of money. Let's buy the spring shoes. Let's buy the mystery box. We definitely don't need the spectacles. That goes without saying. Mystery box contains spike shoes. Awesome. That, that was the other thing I was going to buy. Uh, so we can jump high now. Run faster. Jump higher. Man. I'm not going to be part of your system. Oh, I still don't have any bombs. So I'm not sure what I'm trying to plan here. I guess I'm trying to get more bombs. So we got spring shoes and spike shoes. Which is kind of neat. Let's try not to squander those. I picked the wrong direction to go. Hopefully I don't trap myself, because we could end up in that situation pretty easily with me having zero bombs. So we should take the path that was laid out before us. Usually I don't have this much trouble with bombs. I should have bought more... Was that even this run? I was going to say I should have bought more earlier. But, uh... I don't think it's a big problem. So the spike shoes are nice to have for sure. Oh, what was I thinking? We can now take out difficult enemies more easily. Like, I think I could jump on that scorpion and kill him. If only I could get like the, the Kabbalah or Capella or Capella, Fabio Capello, former Italian head coach of the England national men's football team. Uh, do we have any, uh, I guess we're just going to exit here. Cool. Now if I do find like a dead or restless level, I would like to go to the Castlevania level and unlock the, the other character. I mean, it just seems like the right thing to do, right? But we haven't run across the dead or restless level in a little while here. I think I can make that drop. Almost hurt, but we got through it okay. So what do we have? We have spring shoes, spike shoes, and paste. Sadly, the paste is worthless because we have no bombs. But hopefully that is something that, you know, we can address later. 125 and another 125. Sticky orange balls. No need for that. Ah, there we go. More bombs. So, I mean, we're going to try to use these as prudently as possible. We're going to be very careful through here, obviously. Okay, that was very close, but we made it. <laughs> Basically picked the exact perfect possible moment to hit the right bumper there. Oh my god, not this shit again. Is this like is this like uh, Isaac where the game gets harder every time you beat it? Well, that worked, to a certain extent anyway. For some definition of the word worked. Where's my torch? I think it's down there and alive still. Okay. Going down. Sorry about th that was scary. And of course we have a beehive again. Cause it's not like this level was difficult enough in its own right. Now there is Monty there. But I think we have pretty much no chance oh fuck. Pretty much no chance of, of carrying him to the exit with our torch as well. So we might have to go into bee land here. I'm not happy about it. I have spike shoes though, maybe I can Make something good happen here. Get that delicious royal jelly. Oh, shit! Spike shoes, make it happen. I'm allergic! There's the royal jelly. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a good girl. Such a... Is there anything else for me to do here? Well, at least I got the royal jelly. That gave me a decent amount of health. Oh, I thought I was going to drop my torch in the water. Now, what the fuck is down here? I don't want to enter your piranha prison. Look at this shit. This is crazy. I killed like 50 bees on this level. It's comical. What do I do here? It's piranha central. I can't... Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> I thought the game butt fucked me there with... Uh, 
a fucking can't see shit beehive I hear rushing water level like that is that's some serious garbage right there. oh whatever <laughs> we'll, we'll restart here I'll probably be managed to fit in one more run I'm guessing uh, before this ends but now it's gone from like every spelunky video being like 10 runs to now like every spelunky video being three or four runs so I'm definitely making progress that jungle level was such bullshit. I mean, oh my god, damn god. Okay, you know what? We're going to restart again here. Maybe it's time for a character switch, who knows. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Like I as much as I've I've died a couple of stupid ways this run, dying a couple of stupid ways in one video beats dying 30 stupid ways in like three consecutive videos. So definitely I think my spelunky game is I'm not going to say it's next level, because that makes you a douchebag, but uh, it is it's going pretty well. We got an, as much gold there as the idol would give us, so that's crazy. And I don't think the idol is risk wor worth risking your life for on these early levels, in my personal opinion, anyway. Alright, let's go, Monty. Time to get the fuck out of here. Also, you don't mind if I toss you into any like pre-programmed arrow traps, do you? Yeah, it's probably gonna hurt like a motherfucker. But you're a dog, apparently. And you can take more of those hits than I can. Or at least as many of those hits as I can. So, how do we want to do this one? It's a good question. Hmm. I think if we just drop, we won't get hit by the arrow trap. Came kind of close, and there's our exit. Cool. So, we don't have to bother killing those things. I could have picked up that extra gold bar for like 500. Not necessary, I think. So, let's keep moving ourselves onwards here. Picking up treasure when appropriate. Killing enemies when necessary, and only when necessary. And maybe making progress. I mean, I would love to do something in this video. Like, if I, if I don't beat Olmec, I would love to at least get a secret character. Or, you know, find maybe a new item. Because I don't think my, my journal is complete from an item. St oh, are you kidding me? Well, on the bright side, we do get the cape. We don't have nearly enough for the climbing gloves. Uh, and that's, you know, one way to reach the exit. But that cave is going to help us out a lot, especially as we get into the ice caves. Like, it's not really that useful, I guess, on, like, the jungle and stuff like that. In my opinion, anyway. But it is uh, a great item to have. Well, I guess it, it just universally is pretty goddamn great. Should encounter a lot of, of large spiders here. Oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. Oh, come on. Okay, this is where I've got to, you know, pu pull in my natural instinct towards just rushing. Uh, this scares me a little bit. Because I don't think that I should be here. I don't think this is the right way to go at all. But I'm going to toss a bomb. I was hoping that that would get to the powder keg. It did. In its own weird roundabout way. Wow, um, okay. There's our exit. So that's gonna be something that I'm gonna look for. I'm already down to one health, that's solid. Uh, yes, yeah, so I will use a bomb here to access this crate and potentially get a trip to see Monty. I don't know how I would ever do that. <laughs> Sorry, Monty. More spiders and an altar. Ooh, ooh. We can't really put anything on that. But, you know, it's nice to have. Uh, let's just get the fuck out of here. I have a feeling this run is going to end pretty goddamn soon. Unless I get some delicious royal jelly. Royal jelly is when you're like a duke or something, and then there's a baron across town who has way more money than you. Uh, he has more vassals. I don't know. I was focusing too much on the joke, not enough on the spelunky. But hey, that was still a, a pretty good run, I think. In my opinion. So, as always... Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time when who knows what's going to happen. Hopefully good stuff, though.